Okay, well here we go into the very first of these little tiny locks. We got our fenders mostly sorted out. We've got a plan where we've got the wooden planks on the side, according to what people have said, but the lock just looks so tiny. Normally, we just hang our fenders down to act as a cushion and protect the hull when we come into more beside a wall. The problem here is that we'll be moving on into the lock and fenders would just roll back and slide up, exposing the hull as we travel in. Hey, lots of room. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm getting awfully close on this other side. The wind feels like it's pushing us. These rough stone walls will demand a few changes to our fender and board strategy, as they need to slide up and down the locks, as well as along the walls on entry and exit. The next day, I add a much longer board, almost hanging in the water, and tall enough to protect the fenders and stop them from swinging back if they touch the wall. I still keep the other board down low in case we come up to a very low wall. There's also a tendency for the board to ride up if the boat pushes in against the wall as we descend. But I've rounded the edges and the heavy weight seems to do the trick. Even out of the locks in the canal itself, there's not a lot of room, especially when passing another boat, since the edges of the canal can be shallower than they look. With a few more locks practice, I start to feel comfortable getting distant chores too smoothly lined up for the entrance. And we get to practice our sailor line toss, lassoing the bollards as we come in.